Your peace reflections. Peace, everybody coming in the room. Yo, so today, I just want to break things down for everybody. I want to give you some knowledge from the Honorable Master Chief Ellie that he's given to me. And some of the things that I came into realization in my own journey, you know, that I didn't really add up the mathematics at that point. But Master Chief, uh, he brought things together for me and he gave me the mathematics and the science behind these things. But I want to let you know today what it really is. And I want to just break it down for you because at the end of the day, we're all one race, right? We're all one human race. There's not many races. There's not, you know, all these ethnicities and things that serve to divide us. It's just an illusion. The reality of the fact is that we're all just one human race. We're all different shades of brown. And the original man and woman were a darker shade of brown. They were a melanated, darker shade of brown. And every other people come from that. That's just the facts. That's the mathematics, you know? So, first of all, you know, I want, I want to introduce myself. My name is Master Teacher Rambo. And, you know, I'm part of Carbonation. I've been in Carbonation. I don't know if you've seen me. I'm, I'm, I'm in the background typically. I do a lot of the technical stuff. So you might not see my face a lot, but today I just wanted to come share this information with you and give you this download because it's something that is very relevant to me, you know, it's, it's to, to myself, you know. So along my journey, I, came, I had an epiphany. You know, I had an epiphany one day that I realized... Because as I was waking up, I realized that everything is backwards. That everything that we're doing in this modern day civilization, society, whatever you want to call it, we call it Babylon, everything is backwards. What they tell you is good for you is actually bad for you. And what they tell you is bad for you is actually good for you. So everything that we've been programmed to believe has been a lie. And when you realize this, you start questioning everything in your reality. You start looking at every single thing within your reality to see and verify, see if maybe that's something else that they lied about. So, um, uh, you know, along my journey, I was waking up and I was in this level of consciousness where I was just analyzing the world around me, trying to figure out what was right and what was wrong, you know, and trying to figure out what is the truth in this reality. I know I've been lied to my whole life. I know they told me about you know, about the food that I should be eating milk and drinking, you know, drinking milk and eating meat. But then I found out that was a lie. I found out what that was doing to my body, you know. So I started digging deeper and deeper. And then one day out of nowhere, I just realized like, it just hit me like that black people, what we call black people, so-called black people, the melanated people were at the bottom in that system. And that that the less melanated or what we call the European consciousness or the Caucasian was at the top within that system. But I, I realized that it was inverted, that within that world, yes, within that world, that is how that it goes in that system. But that's not the real world. You see, the world that you live in is a world on top of a world. That world is built on top of the real world. You see, Babylon is constructed on top of the original world, which is nature. See, before all the civilizations, all the cities, all of that existed, there existed nature. There was no buildings. There was no highways. There was no stores. There was no restaurants. The only thing that there was, was nature was this, was the trees, the animals, all these species on this planet. Before all of that mindset could have came into fruition to even build anything that could destroy this planet, there it just was. It was just nature. And they came, the lower self-consciousness came and built another world on top of what was already here. And within that, we got sucked into that mindset. And even the the more melanated beings got sucked into that mindset as well. So now what we see in this modern day world happening is that the melanated man does not know who he is. He does not know his power. He does not know that he is God. 
He does not know that he is the head of humanity. So he's just sitting back in the hood, chilling, drinking a 40, smoking a blunt, not even knowing that he's God. Not knowing that he's the original man, that he belongs in the jungle. Not knowing that here is his true power. You see, this is what I came to realize, that the roles were reversed. And that the reality of things is that you as a melanated man belong in the jungle. You will never find your power within that system because that system represents everything that you're not. That system goes against the natural flow of the universe. And you naturally want to be in tune with the natural flow of the universe. That's why you got so much rhythm. That's why you can do what you can do. That's why you can hop the ball, you know, in the, in the court and do all these amazing things that you do because you naturally don't resist the universe. You're in tune with it because you know naturally, instinctively that what they're doing in that system is wrong. But because of the indoctrination, you choose to remain within that system because it's comfortable, because it's all you know, because it's what you're used to. But I'm telling you right now, and this is how I see it, you have a responsibility and everybody is waiting on you to tap into that responsibility. As a melanated man, you are waited upon to tap into this responsibility as the head of humanity. Because great power comes with great responsibility. So you must know that if you belong in the jungle and you are the head of humanity, that is your responsibility to teach and to educate and to live this knowledge. You feel me? You can't just sit around in that same situation that you've been in for hundreds of years. You can't just settle for that system. That system goes against everything that you are. You are God, you belong in the jungle. You belong in tune, in tune with nature, in tune with the elements. This is who you are. You have to remember who you are. And carbonation is here for that. We're here to remind you, bring back to one mind, the mind that has fragmented into thousands and millions of pieces. We're here to remind and bring back to one and to source that which is. And we're constantly giving you the information to remind you and wake you up and let you know that you were God. To let you know that you belong in the jungle. To let you know that that system that you were born into is not all that exists. That there's more. There's another reality that exists that is before anything. The primordial force of the universe is nature. And that's what you must become one with. You must get out of that system. Don't settle to be there in that system just because it's comfortable. Just because everything is handed to you. Never settle for that system. You got to come to the jungle and realize your true power. And every other so-called race, every other shade of brown must come to this realization as well. You must know who your forefathers are. You must know who the source of humanity is. You must recognize and see melanated people for who they are. See, all these, all the, we have all these ethnicities. We have Mexican, we have Spanish, we have, you know, all these different breakdowns. But when it really comes down to it, we're all brown. We're all different shades of brown. And the darker you are, the higher connection you have with the universe. Do you know what makes your skin brown? Melanin or carbon is the pigment that makes your skin brown, but it's more than a pigment. It's actually an antenna. Melanin is an antenna. It's a super semiconductor that actually connects. It's receiving and, and emitting electrical signals. This is information. So you got to realize that the more melanin you have in your skin means that you're receiving and able to put out more electrical signals, more information. You're more tuned in and tapped in to the universe. You see? And this is what you must realize. You got to tap into this power. You know, you're just walking around being a battery for Babylon when you should be powering 
nature. You should be rep replicating and, and giving more of what is. You, but because you don't know who you are, you can only replicate that system. You could only make more of that system. You could only amplify that system. You could only be the best within that system, within the constraints of that system. But if you knew your true power, you will come out of that system and come to nature and really not be limited. See, this, this system right here is for you. It was made and designed for you because you are it. You are nature. Everything about you is nature. You are the source of all that is. You're the source of humanity. Melanated men and women, it's time for you to wake up and take your power back. You got to understand that you have a role to play. You have, you have a position to play as the head of humanity to educate the rest of the world. Everybody's waiting on that. The moment that black people wake up is the moment that everything will turn around. All Babylon will topple when you wake up, you see? And also, I'm saying this because I come from that background of being so-called Mexican, being so-called Spanish, being, being you know, Hispanic, or whatever you want to call it, whatever they, they label it as. But through the eyes of people like me, they don't see black people that way. And that's why I wanted to give you some information and to let you know that no matter what race you are or what race, whatever they call race or ethnicity you think you are, it all comes from the melanated man and woman. These are your forefathers. If you trace back the lineage enough, you will realize that you come from black people. You come from melanated people. DNA will tell you this. If you do DNA tests, we already know that, that that's a fact. The science behind that is already out. We already know this. So we don't have to think that it's pseudoscience to, for me to say this. We already have the scientific backs to back this up. DNA will tell you that the oldest DNA is melanated people. It comes from melanated people, you know? So you just have to realize and, and come, come to terms with this. We have to respect our ancestors. We have to respect those who we come from. You know, we're just walking around here not acknowledging because we've been programmed a certain way. You see, and, and, and then Babylon does this to us. It programs us to think that black people are inferior. It programs us to think that black people are, should be looked down upon, that they're, they're the scum of society. Even, even throughout history, with the whole slavery and segregation, it's all programming us to think that you are less, that melanated beings are less. And I even see this in the Spanish culture. It plays out in, in, the, in the different scenarios in, in the news it's all projecting fear 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 of people with darker skin the darker the skin the more fear you should have of this person this is what the what the media is telling us it's trying to scare us into thinking that melanated people are evil or that they're savages but this is what this is what they came in the first place to do even the the native americans were were melanated beings the native americans were called savages by the Europeans when they came down. Because when you call someone a savage, it is easier for you to take their, their land. It is easier for you to rape their women. It is easier for you to just destroy the way of life that they have when you call them savages. This is the technique and strategy of the lower self. And this is what you must realize, that we've been programmed to see melanated beings a certain way. And this program allows us to perceive and treat them as such. So we don't honor and respect them the way that we should because we don't know who they are. And furthermore, they don't even know who they are. They haven't even realized who they are for us to even be treating them or for them to be treating themselves who, as who they are, you see. But one who is righteous, one who is on the path of knowledge and wisdom doesn't wait for other people to, to act, they act and they treat themselves knowing who, how, who they are. If you know who you are, you will treat others accordingly. And it is your responsibility to find out and know who melanated beings are so that you may treat them as such. You may have reverence for them. You may uplift them and create the space for them to come into the position that they are here to become. You feel me? This is the mission. 
This is the mission to turn the tables and we think we turn things to to what they are. You know, I'm not I don't feel any less inferior because I realize at the end of the day, all of this is energy. I am energy. You know, I have a, a certain purpose to fulfill here. So I don't set my purpose aside because of my pride. I don't set my purpose aside because I want to feel like I'm the man, because I want to feel like something that I'm not. All I'm trying to do is create law and order, structure, to let you know that things aren't what you've been told and let you know how what they really are so that you can live by this law. That melanated beings are the head of humanity, plain and simple. Get in tune with that. Listen to that. Do the science behind that. Look into the DNA. The DNA don't lie. The oldest DNA is, is melanated people, you know? So I had this epiphany, right? I, f I realized, damn, everything is backwards. The people who I looked up to or who I perceived as being higher in status were actually lower in status, but they have put themselves in a system that they built that will perpetuate a thought that they were superior and that the darker melanated people were inferior. This is what I had thought, right? This is what I was programmed to believe. But after that, I, I, I started looking at things differently, you know? I started realizing that, shit, everything is backwards. So even the people that I thought were great are, were actually the less great because they go against everything that is. They go against the natural flow of the universe, you know? And then I started doing more research and I, and I you know, tapped into the Honorable Master Chief Ellie, you know, nature boy. And I realized that he, what he was teaching spoke to my heart. You know, it spoke to me. It spoke to a part of me that was awakening. He awakened the DNA within me, you know. And this is what we're doing for everybody else. We're, we're awakening DNA. Because it's already within you. You already know your greatness. But you're not tapping into it. You're not tapping into what you know you are. Deep down inside, we're activating the DNA that is waking you up because you've been asleep for so long. And this is what they fear in Babylon. They fear that melanated people will wake up because they know that once melanated people wake up, it's a wrap. It's a wrap after that because anything melanated people put their mind to because they have the, the capacity to hold that much light and the capacity to, to receive that information, those electrical signals, they know that once that happens, it's a wrap. Everything will fall after that. Babylon will fall and a new world shall rise. A new world where we don't go against nature. A new world where we're in tune and aligned with the flow of the universe. You see, and it's already been told, you know, this has already been, been going on. There's, there's many prophecies that have been told by, you know, the Native Americans, which were melanated, by the way, and all throughout many civilizations, you can see the remnants of, of melanated people, you know, e even in the statues and the art paintings and all of this. You know, we, if we trace it back far enough, you can see that everything comes from the black. Remember that. Don't forget that everything comes from the black. And even science-wise, science we know that the light that we see in this universe that we see all came from darkness, you know. It all came from the primordial darkness. And out of that darkness came this reality that we're experiencing. But everything comes from the black. Everything comes from the ether, the triple bar black darkness. That's the source of everything. This is the power. See, that's why when I look at black people, I don't look at less. I, when I perceive dark melanated people, I perceive as more of what is. I, I, the words that come to my mind is richness. Is, is more, not less. That's because you've been programmed. That's why you think less. But really, it's more. You have more of what is. You're connected to more of what is. You're tapped in and tuned into and have the capacity to receive more of what is. This is nature. This is, when you tune and tap into this nature, this is when you will realize your true power. It's not in that system you call Babylon and that system that is powering and fueling the destruction of this planet. It's out here in the jungle. This is where your power is at. This is where you will tap into your greatness. You could never be great in that system. You could only be as great as they'll allow you. That system limits you. 
because it's a box. All that system knows is boxes. It's just squares. You will never be great until you leave that system because that system wasn't designed for you. That system wasn't designed to flow how you naturally want to flow. That's why you don't even want to go to work. That's why you resist going to work. That's why you resist getting a job. You resist that whole system. It's in your very essence and nature to resist that system. Why would you want to go to work when you know that that, that whole system is, is flawed? Why would you want to build yourself something when that system, when you know it's all backwards? You know? This is what you must come to realize. And this is my responsibility as what you might call less melanated or, or you know, less melanated than, than the more melanated. You know, I'm somewhere in the middle, whatever. It, but it's my responsibility to speak to those to come from that background that I come from so I could tell them, yo, check it out. You have your ancestors come from the more melanated beings. And until you learn to perceive them and see them as such, you will never have respect for them. You will never respect yourself. You will never do what you need to do to give that those melanated people their place, to bring them to, high, to a higher power, bring them back to nature. You see, they're the ones that are the most fucked up. The most fucked up people in this world are the, melanin the darkest melanated people. Everywhere you go, every single country, don't matter if you go to Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Africa, anywhere you go, the more melanated people are always the ones that are in the most poverty, the ones that are in the most experiencing the most distress, the ones that are at the bottom of the totem. You know, everywhere you go, universally, this is what you see because everybody's still asleep. But once you wake up, that will be inverted. These roles will be switched. You know, it is not until that time comes that you will truly come into power as a melanated person. And this has all been prophesied, it's all been talked about already. This, this has already been being fulfilled. You know, this is already happening. It's just unraveling. It's nothing you could do to stop it. This is the destiny, you know. It all must come to this because the universe, like I said, is contracting. It's coming back to the source of understanding where it came from. Don't res resist the flow of the universe. Don't resist it. Just go along with it. What's happening right now is that you're waking up at a rapid pace, at a rapid velocity. The universe is waking up. It's coming into consciousness. This whole age of information, the age of Aquarius, has brought us into this new world where we have all this information on our fingertips. We have the ability to go and research and find out the truth of the matter. We don't have to just speculate. We don't have to just, you know, take it for face value. You can actually go and see. Go do the research. Find out the true history. Find out the true science. Don't let them fool you. You got to do research on your own to find out the truth. Because the truth ain't on the news. The truth ain't on the newspaper. It's not in your textbooks. The truth is going to be somewhere else. It's on YouTube. It's on, it's on Carbonation TV. We are the truth. We are the truth speakers. And it don't matter if your voice shakes. You must still speak the truth. If, if it is in you to be righteous, then you will speak the truth regardless. It don't matter if it hurts your feelings. It don't matter if it hurts your ego. It don't matter if it hurts your pride. You will speak the truth no matter what. You see, this is what we must do. We must proclaim the kingdom of God at the top of our lungs. You know, at the, you know we must scream it out into our universe. And let everybody know the truth. So, it doesn't matter who you are. If you are a human being on this planet, you come from the melanated man and woman. Plain and simple. Facts. That's just facts. That's the source. The source of humanity is a melanated man and a melanated woman. So we've been programmed, we've been programmed a certain way. We gotta unprogram ourselves. We gotta program ourselves to think differently. We gotta program ourselves to think highly of, of melanated people. We gotta program ourselves to realize that the science is there. 
The more melanin you have, the more connected to the universe you are, the more, the more closer to source that you are. Therefore, you have more capabilities, you have more ancient DNA within you that, that is unlocked, you know? But we must also speak about neuromelanin because you have melanin in the skin and you have neuromelanin. Now, neuromelanin is in your nervous system, is in a, is in a brain. You know, it's the melanin in your nervous system. So we already said melanin is the antenna. It receives and emits electrical signals. So neuromelanin is the melanin in your brain. This is your astrological energy. You see, everything, you can see everything in terms of biology and astrology. Biology is the micro and astrology is the macro realm. So here we see neuromelanin connects to the stars. It's, it's your astrological programming. It's, it's your birth chart, your natal chart. It's the energies that um, add up to be your soul, who you are. So things have been switched around a lot because we have had so many mutations and we've, we've seen so much things mutate that now what you're seeing is different. You can have neuromelanin in people who are less melanated. So they have that connection to the universe through their neuromelanin, through their astrological programming, which allows them to, to perceive and see things for what they really are. But they might not have as much melanin. They, must be, they might be less melanated. On the flip side of that, you could have someone who is darkly pigmented, who has a lot of melanin in their skin, but does not have the neuromelanin or the astrological programming to be able to decipher and see things for what they truly are. So... It's, 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 it's gotten a little more complicated now because now you can't take things for face value. Now you can't just see a white person and be like, they're evil because they, have, they might have the astrological programming that enables them to see things for what they truly are. On the flip side of that, you can't just see a darker melanated per person and think that they're all good because their astrological programming might not even allow them to see things for what they really are. They might just be a battery for Babylon. They might just be perpetuating more of that system. They might be the greatest entertainer of all time. They might just be the greatest businessman of all time because they have more potential to be more within that system. But they're limited by their astrological programming that doesn't let them allow them to see that they are God. That doesn't allow them to see that in nature, in lies their true power. You see, in the beginning, when it was when everything there was no humans, the sun came and manifested itself into human form, and it manifested itself as a melanated person, as a melanated being. When the sun came and manifested itself as, as, as a human form, it was melanated. It was dark, melanated person. This is the original. This is the source of where all other human beings come from, is a melanated being. And melanated beings are the sun in human form. You see... This is what you must understand. You know, they're not going to tell you this in, in school. They're not going to tell you this on, on the news. Nobody's going to tell you this because that system doesn't want you to know this. The lower self don't want you to know your higher self. The lower self don't want you to know your higher self. Because when you connect to your higher self, you connect back to who you are. And when you connect back to who you are, that system has no use for you. That system without you is powerless. It needs you to have that system going. It needs you to be a cog in that system to keep that mindset going. See, this, and this is what I wanted to share today because I see a lot of people, they, they, don't, they don't know what they're doing. You know, They don't know that melanated people are the head of humanity. They think that they have a lot of pride in their, in what, what they've been the culture that they were brought up in, you know, they have a lot of pride in this culture, but they, they don't look at melanated people in the way that they should. They look down on them.
because they've been programmed by the media, you know. They've been programmed to fear melanated people. They've been programmed to, to think that they're dangerous or savages. You know, even today you might think that that's rare, but nah, this, this program still exists. Slavery still exists. It's just in a different form. You know, nothing is lost, all is transformed. Everything is just, energy is just being transformed. And within that, we still have a lot of the same shit that we had before happening. It's just happening in a different way. The, the slavery now is mental. The slavery now is the program that they give you that allows you to be in a system that destroys the planet. This is, this is the slavery that you're under. You're under mind control, MK Ultra. You're thinking that that system is all that is, that you have to go to work and get a job and, and go to college and, and get a career. But, but that's a lie. Before careers, before supermarkets, there was nature. There was trees, there was fruit trees, there was plants, and, and we ate from the earth, and we lived in tune with the earth. We knew that the earth was us, because we were so in tune with it. We walked barefoot on the ground. We were connected to the earth. We didn't cut down trees. We didn't destroy the planet because we saw it as a reflection of us. We understood this. We saw that people around us in our tribe were, were really a reflection of us, that there were just mirror, you know, there, there were um, mirror universes experiencing itself in a different way, but we understood that it was all us. That's why we couldn't hurt anybody. That's why we couldn't hurt, hurt anything. We lived in tune and in harmony because we understood this fact. We saw everything as us. And when you see everything as yourself and you truly know and love yourself and understand yourself, then you have respect for everything around you. You will tread lightly. You will not destroy the forest. You, will, you can't pollute the earth if you know it's you. You can't chop down a rainforest if you know it's you. You wouldn't create all these destructive things that the lower self creates if you knew that it was you. We must come back to this consciousness, this level of understanding. This is the Christ conscious. This is, this is when you know, this is the I am consciousness, when you know that all is you. And as a melanated being, you must know that you are the head of this and you must come and reclaim your power and take up this responsibility to be in this position. See what I'm saying? That's the message that I wanted to share with you today. Know who you are, know yourself, study yourself, study your history, stu study your true history, study astrology and biology and know the power that you hold. Study melanin, neuromelanin, study astrology and your astrological energy that'll tell you who you are. So, as always, I want to give honor to the Honorable Master Chief Ellie, Nature Boy, for, for giving me this information, for giving me the light so I could reflect it right back to you and to all of humanity, especially the melanated people that need to wake up in order for everybody else to follow. As the head of humanity, that is your responsibility. That's the message I want to share to you. I hope you have a beautiful day and take this information and apply it to your life. All right. I love myself. Peace.